It's characterized by, by symptoms primarily of auditory hallucinations, hearing voices. Voices often comment upon the person's behavior or they, um, uh, they may uh, tell the person to do things. Uh, second most common, uh, patients will have visual hallucinations and less commonly will have tactile and uh, rarely olfactory or gustatory hallucinations. Uh, they also have um, what are called the, uh, some of the first rank symptoms of uh, Schneider, uh, including ideas of control, uh, a sense that one's actions, thoughts, or emotions are being controlled by an external influence. The demons in me control my eyes. Every part of me is demonic, where I can be beheaded and will, my head will rejoin or pop up a new one. And that is what happened to me when I got tripped by grounded by my orbiter in a place called Jedi Garden. Uh, nowadays, a radio chip um, or x-rays in the old days, voodoo uh, was a common uh, cause for that. Um, uh, symptoms of thought insertion and thought withdrawal where strange thoughts either appear in the person's mind or, or thoughts are taken out of, of your mind. I, I can be thinking of something and then the thought will be taken away and then I have to just think and think and think and think until the thought will come back again. Mm -hmm. And, and finally, delusions, uh, fixed false beliefs, not understandable within the context of the person's background. Uh, common delusions include uh, paranoid delusions, the belief that the CIA or the FBI is following you, uh, has tapped your phone, uh, or that some group is conspiring to poison you or to interfere with your life in some uh, malignant way. Again, the big one was about the CIA, that the CIA was trained me to spy, but I also believe that they were grooming me to be in a James Bond movie. And the voice would tell you this? Yeah. All this occurs in the setting of, um, of clear consciousness, no, no disorientation, and um, uh, no obvious signs of delirium.